the hardest part in all of these XP farms is finding that right spot where both metals are included into your outpost. Doesn't matter what kind of XP farm you're doing, it might just be iron and aluminium for the adaptive frames or some other kind of material that has the same effect. I think I might have a perfect workaround for that. All you'll need is about 10 minutes to actually find the right spot. So I chose a moon in the Heisenberg system, Heisenberg 5A. This obviously is around the Heisenberg 5 planet. I just went there, searched for an area where both metals seemed like they were colliding. In my case, it was iron for brown and dark green for aluminium. There was this one spot where they were and then all you have to do is check for biomes. So iron is usually in the mountain biome or the hill biome, you know. And aluminium is usually in a swamp, a crater or a savanna or something like that. So what I did was check where the border for these two biomes was instead of where these points were meeting. Landed down there at the border. And I ended up landing in the savanna instead of on the hills. So what I did was just move towards the hill from the point where I was in, like the closest hill that I had. I just ran towards there, opened my outpost beacon, put it as far as I could and then just ran towards the hill. And at a point I just got an indication saying that I have three elements. I got iron, aluminium and beryllium. Beryllium again is also a useful element because it's used in a lot of crafting and outpost making etc etc. So this was a jackpot for me. Once you find that just travel back to Neon and go to the mining leak shop which will have all the metals and elements you'll need. You'll need about 120 iron, about 120 maybe 150 aluminium about 20 beryllium, 16 tungsten and 30 copper. I'll leave the exact number in the description below. Once you have all of these materials, jump over to Jemison Mercantile, buy about 2 fiber maybe. You need that for the bed because it gives you about 10% extra XP. Once you've done all that, fly over back to Heisenberg 5A and then we start building. Uh, before we start building though, we'll have to create adaptive frames. About 24 adaptive frames should do for now. To create those, you'll need to build the industrial work table, which is there in the crafting part of the outpost builder. The first things we'll build are the extractors. So hover over to the extractor tab. You'll have three, maybe two, depending on how many elements that your outpost is actually catching up on. So uh, just build the iron extractor. All you need to look for when building the iron extractor is a brown patch of land. As you can see in the video. Just build the extractors there. You'll also need to maintain some distance between them. So make sure they're all to the edges so that there's actually enough space for the other extractors to be there. Same with aluminium but only difference would be you'd find a grey patch in the land. So once you've put in all your extractors, it's time to move on to the power sources. If you've done like me and put in four extractors for aluminium and four extractors for iron, you'll need about 40 power, which means about 10 solar panels. Don't worry, uh, this planet has sufficient solar light. So just solar panels will help a lot. You don't need anything else, frankly. So just put 10 of the solar panels into the ground. Once you're done with that, it's time to move on to the storage crates, which will hold all the metal that is being extracted. Construct about four or five in a quick succession in two separate rows. Once you're done constructing those, connect the extractors to the cargo crates. So to connect them, go to the modify part of the outpost construction. On my PC, it's I press tab and then modify just opens up. Once you do that, right click on to each extractor and collect them all to a single box for both metals. Once you're done connecting them all to a single box, use that box and daisy chain that box to all the other boxes for that metal. So for example, the iron box will only go to all the connected iron boxes that way. Once you're done with that, 
just go to venus wait there for 24 hours local time come back get some sleep on the bed that you'll also need to create which which is very easy just go to the furniture tab in the outpost builder and then build the bed that was what the two fiber were for so once you're done building the bed just sleep for an hour on it you don't need to do more than that once you do that you get a 10% xp boost and then just start creating these adaptive frames but make sure the first few times you just focus on building these cargo crates and like expanding the size of it i had 100 each for each metal that gave me about 25 minutes of just sitting there and then you know creating adaptive frames to get leveled up it took me about 15 minutes to get to level 58 from level 50 so this is one of the best ways to level up because the game is really really stingy with xp so that's about it hope this actually makes it a little bit more clear on how to do all of this and maybe save some of your time please do hit that subscribe button if you like what you see as you can see we are a very small channel with barely over 100 subscribers and each and every sub goes a long way thank you hope you enjoyed it